Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in, well, I was gonna say War Thunder. This is not War Thunder. We are back in Stormworks, and today we are continuing on with our small military warship. I say small, this thing's actually not that small, but um, yeah. Anyway, today what I figured we'd do is we'd redesign the actual bridge. Now, a lot of you guys have said this bridge looks weird because it isn't off to the sides. And uh, I don't know whether you want it off to the front or not, but we will do that today as well. Anyway, what we're going to do is redesign the bridge, add some doors so that we can actually get into the hangar, and also modify the hangar doors as well. So, let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? Okie dokie, so first things first, we are going to redesign this bridge. And the way we're going to redesign it is actually pretty simple. Uh, we're going to bring this all the way to the front, all the way to the bottom, and cut it! Yeah, actually bring all of this over as well. So cut this, move it off to the side, paste it in right there. There we go. Awesome. Very weird, but kind of awesome. Yeah. No, does that work? I don't know. I think it might. Uh, so then we're going to go to the other side and do the exact same thing if we can. Press U. Yes. Go ahead and cut it. There we go. And move it over to the side. Yes. Paste it in right there. And merge that one as well. Is that something that we want? I think so. I think that's cool. Okie dokie. So the next thing that we want to do, or at least I want to do, is grab this guy right here, all the way down to there. We're also going to go to this side. Go ahead and copy it, move it over to the side. Is it possible to put it there? It is not. Ah, that's annoying. That's very annoying. Okay, right. Go ahead and just grab a little bit of it then, without that piece. All right, copy this. Move it over to the side. Paste it in right there. Okay, awesome. Press U, take it to this side. Paste it in right there like that. Merge this guy with this guy, this guy with this guy, and there we go. Yeah, I think that's better. I honestly think that's pretty cool. Very good. Very good. All right, so now we just need the roof to be added on properly. So we're going to go ahead and quickly do this. There we go. One and two. And then we're going to attach it all together at the back. There we go. From there. All the way up to there. All the way across. We will be painting this afterwards. Don't worry. And then we're going to do this right here. Yes. Okay, is that better or is it worse? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Um, there we go. That's good. That's good. Excellent. Yeah. I think that looks a little bit more militaristic. Or does it look a little bit more like a fishing boat? I'm not sure. Alright, if you guys are liking this video so far, make sure to actually like it down below. That'll help me out massively. And consider subscribing too, to see more videos like this one. Alright, I mean it looks okay anyway, doesn't it? It looks alright. So, the next thing that we actually need to do is put some windows in the bottom of these. Apparently, I forgot to do that previously, so there was no windows. But now we've got windows in there, that is pretty sick. Awesome. What do we do now? What do we do now? I need to add doors and stuff, don't I? So let's go ahead and grab this door. We're going to have it in there, uh, like this. There was also a suggestion that we add... Oh, actually. Let's move it over to the side as much as possible. Probably around there. There we go, good. Uh, there was also a suggestion that we actually made the doors bigger. And we put the doors... Oh, we put the... These. <laughs> we put these doors within these doors. I know that sounds really strange. But I think that's actually a pretty cool idea. So let's go ahead and delete that. Let's grab a door and smack it straight onto here. Will this work? Will this work in the in the way that I'm thinking? Maybe. Uh, so we're going to put that right there. And yeah, the doors are slightly bigger if we do do that. If we do do that. So uh, grab this. Go ahead and build it up to there. Delete all of this as well. Bring it from there downwards. Go ahead and spawn it in. Let's see what happens, shall we? All right, let's jump on board. There we go. Very nice. Go ahead and do this. It kind of, I mean, it kind of works. Also, at the same time, it kind of doesn't. Uh, and there are a few reasons for that, actually. There are a few reasons. I don't want it to actually stick out as far as that door opens. Okay, I don't want it to stick out all the way back here. Um, so, actually, we're going to go ahead and uh, undo all of that. So, delete all of this. There we go. Uh, we're going to redesign the door to be like this. There we go. And then we're going to do this right here. So, it's a little bit bigger. They are a tiny bit bigger. But, um, they're not as big as they were. But that's okay. Anyway, door. Let's go ahead and grab some doors. Uh, we're going to go with the hinge doors again. Yes. We're going to put them right on the edge. If possible. Do, 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 do. Uh, uh, kind of like this. Yep, yeah, but two more over. Two over. Hey, there we go. We're also going to delete these guys and put these in instead. So that it comes even further. And then we need a door like this one. There we go. To go directly onto here like this. And there we go. All right, that should be excellent, actually. Go ahead and put that in there like that. Spawn it in. Let's see if we can move it across. And if we can, that would be great. 
That'd be really good. All right, here we go. Yeah, nice. All right, that's actually pretty sick. So then the helicopter will get pushed in and uh, hopefully fit in there. That'd be amazing. Okie dokie. The only problem we do actually have now is a lot of you guys suggested we put the same sort of system that we've got on the bottom uh, in at the top. Now, the problem with that, and there is a problem with that, is it would be really, really annoying to do. Um, we don't actually have enough room up there in order to get the system in properly. So we're just going to have to do it at the bottom, which is kind of strange. But there you go. Okie dokie. So to make sure that these doors actually stay closed, let's go ahead and get ourselves like a gripper, I guess. Yes, that is going to go in here like... Well, actually, like that. But we're not going to get a gripper first. We need the track uh, before we do that. So this track is going to go directly right here like this. There we go. Uh, I do want it to be on the door and not on the uh, the side. So let's go ahead and put that in again. There we go. Go ahead and get the gripper. Do -do 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 -do. Yes, just like so. And we should, I think, be able to just have that uh, on there. The brake uh, release connector. I guess when it releases, we do this. There we go. And release. Okay, is that fine? Is that going to keep them closed nicely? Who knows? <laughs> I don't know. It might work, it might not. Oh, the ship does this as well. It's really annoying. But there we go. It opens like that. If it closes... This one doesn't close quite as nicely as it should. That's really annoying, actually. That's very annoying. Close! All right, hang on. How do I fix that? I can't actually get it closed. Hang on. Hey, there we go. All right, a bit temperamental, but I guess it works. Sure. Okie dokie. So that's all done the way that we kind of want it to be done, which is good. We're going to go ahead and delete this, this, and this. There we go. Leaving two right there, two right there. That's awesome. We're then going to fill these guys in, just like so. And actually what we're going to do now is, is a bit odd, I suppose. But one, two, and then grab that one. And one, two, there we go, grab that one, go up like two of those, and go downwards to around this point right here. Go ahead and cut it, and paste it, there we go, awesome. Take it to the other side, do the exact same thing if we can. Do, 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 there we go, go ahead and cut it, and paste it, there we go, fantastic. And these are doors, these are actually going to be doors. Um, and they're going to open up upwards, uh, which is strange, but there you go. Pivots, let's go ahead and get some of those, yes. Go ahead and attach them straight to the doors, like this, and like this. There we go, merge that with that, that with that. There we go, fantastic. Same with these guys, that one and that one. There we go, brilliant. So these doors are going to act as like, I don't know, side hatches. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, they're going to open up, uh, which should be really cool. Okie dokie, so now when you get on the ship, you can actually go this way. Uh, I forgot to put that bit in, but um, I've decorated this a little bit on the side so that it doesn't look so weird. Uh, and then you can open... Oh! <laughs> no, it needs to go the other way. Alright, one second. So, what I've done is I've used switch boxes down here, and then this just needs to be minus one whenever it's on. There we go. And for some reason I've used two, so this needs to be minus one as well. You only needed to use one of those, but never mind. Uh, so now when we go inside, uh, just like this, there we go. We can go ahead and open these up. Uh, and it breaks the ship. Okay. Is that because it's interfering with something on the outside? I think so. All right, they can't open up to 1, but what about more, more, minus 0 0.8? Minus 0 0.8 might make more sense. Here we go. And let's see what that does. Here we go. Jump in. Here we go. I need some uh, some lights and stuff in here. Hey, there we go. That actually works. Fantastic. Okay, so what I thought we might be able to do is get a rib and actually attach it onto here. However, this is a very small bit for a rib. Like, if you look at it, this is the seat. That's ridiculous, isn't it? So, um, yeah, the rib can't really go on the inside of this. I don't think. I mean, we might be able to get away with doing something, but for now, I don't think I can really position anything on there that will fit nicely. Unless I make it a little bit longer, and maybe we can do that. I don't know, though. Should we? Maybe we should. All right, so we're actually going to... Uh, How do we want to go about doing this? Um, If we did it longer, we'd probably go from there to there. Go ahead and cut it and paste it. There we go. Bring it to the other end as well. Go from here to here. So cut it and paste it. Merge this guy with this guy and this guy with this guy with this guy with this guy with this guy. Hey, there we go. And then we need to grab the entire thing, pretty much. All the way to the other end, which I don't know which bit it's attached to which bit isn't. So we're going to go to there. There we go. Go ahead and copy it or cut it or whatever. There we go. 
Delete this guy. All right, take this to the other end. I need to get rid of the ropes if I'm doing this, but that's fine. So that's going to go there, paste it in. Merge it together if we can. So merge this with this. There we go. All right, fantastic. Yes. I need to delete all of these guys as well. Replace them with these guys. There we go. And is that it? Oh, no, all of these as well. They need to do the same. Hey, there we go. Uh, we also actually need to do this bit and this bit. Hey. Oh, what's this? That was like the actual rope anchors. That's weird. That's weird. Get rid of those. There we go. So this is like a much bigger hangar door. Let's go ahead and see if it still works. Oh, I hate when ships do this when you spawn them in. Pivots just don't like it. Hey, there we go. Yeah, that's much bigger. I think we might be able to get away with this. This will be cool. All right, so how big do we have? It is 31. Okay, I can build a boat out of 31. Let's try it. All right, here we go. 31, that's what we've got. And that is about this big. Oh, that is huge. Actually, it's not. It's <laughs> still not very big. Okay, let's say that that is the top of our boat. We're going to go ahead and do this to begin with. Uh, to make it look nice to begin with at the beginning. There we go. Let's go ahead and do these guys. And I don't want it to be much more than that. So let's go ahead and send this backwards, just like so. Um, at the rear, it will be flat, and that's okay. All right, now this isn't going to be the actual bed of it. That's okay, we can bring this down. Delete that guy right there. Send this bit backwards like so. And there we go. That's kind of how I want it to be. All right, so now let's go ahead and build these bits in. So we're going to go backwards to there. We're then going to use these guys. Actually, no, even further. We got one more to do out of that. There we go, nice. We can then use these guys to go backwards from there, I think. Maybe just once or twice or whatever, that's fine. And then we should be able to just send it backwards like this. All right, that's too skinny. It's too skinny. We need it to be bigger. All right. But there is a, there's also a limit to the width of this too. So we got to watch out. But there you go. Just go ahead and send this backwards to there. Oh, why am I struggling so much with this? To there. There we go. Good. All right. It's going to be a weird boat, but I think it'll work. I think. Maybe. Um, how wide is this actually? So this is currently 11. That's about as wide as I can go. That is legit about as wide as I can go. All right, let's do this. Let's get this going. All right, so that's going to go to there. We're going to do this one. We're going to do this one. And we're going to continue. Yes. Okay, so we just need these guys uh, to go here, I believe. There we go. One, two, and how do I get how do I get all the way across to there? Three. There we go. Nice. Four and five. Hey, that's sick. Yes. Okay. We're then going to do this up to there. We're going to do it once more. And that's okay. Let's go ahead and fill this in. I should be filling it in with like wedges or whatever, but we're not doing that just yet. Uh, let's go ahead and send this down here. Yes. Oh, it's going to be cool. There we go. There we go. And then just fill it in, I guess. Here we go. All right. It's going to be like an actual boat. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. So this on the back, like that. This above it. There we go, and we can build it into there. That'll be amazing. Yeah, okay. Have we got four? Yeah, we do. I'm going to do it out of these guys um, for the reason of it's a little bit more stable uh, to do it out of this. You don't fall through these, whereas you fall through one by twos and you fall by one by fours. Or fall through one by fours? Yes. I don't know. Words. I'm trying to, trying to do words. All right, here we go. So this goes out to here. This goes out to here as well. Fantastic. Delete all of the rear bits, including these guys. We're going to use these right here. And we're going to seal this off on the rear, just like that. There we go. Okay, so this is going to be our deployable boats. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and build this in so that it looks like it's got enough room for seats and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and build that in. Box it off. Fantastic. Yes. Uh, the seats, I think we're going to go with like... A bench is on the side. There we go. We could probably do that like that. Seat. Here we go. Grab these. Yep. Put these in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. I kind of want to move them. <laughs> I kind of want to move them. So we're going to put that there. Delete all of these. Give it a gap at the front and a gap at the back. And that's how we're going to have it be. There we go. That could go there. That could go there. Fantastic. Seat. All right, this is where things are going to get a little bit annoying uh, because this is going to get in the way whenever we store it. Uh, so what we might do, actually, is lower this into the ground. Yeah. 
I might actually lower this into the actual boat itself, which would be very strange, but we're going to try. Delete those guys, put that there. Delete this guy, one and two. And this guy, and there we go. Awesome. Get ourselves a seat, put it there. In the ground a little bit. I think that's fine. Maybe. Okay, so I think this might actually be a placeholder boat. We'll see, because I don't think it looks amazing. I don't think it looks very good at all. Uh, but it could be a boat that we do actually, like, have in reserve. Uh, and then maybe we can actually see if you guys want to submit boats uh, for the actual build itself. That would be really, really cool. But anyway, for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint around the outside in the colors we always use. Here we go, this slightly brown red. Uh, all the way around the edges, and uh, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and do it into there. Oh no, this should actually be the grey. This should be the grey. Uh, so that's going to be great. Wow! I messed up there. Uh, in fact, actually, just replace this colour with this colour. There we go. Alright, very good. We're then going to have the red underneath that, of course, and um, that's fine. Here we go. So this is going to go all the way around here. There we go. All the way around the bottom, and all the way around the back. We're then going to do this guy right here like this. There we go. And then we're going to jug all of this into the bottom. Uh, and that should be fine. Here we go. Yes, yes, and yes. Oh, didn't mean to do that. There we go. Good. All right, nice. So now that we've done that, um, I think the deck color itself is going to be like gray. I guess that's fine for now. Uh, we're going to do this color around the top edge of this. Uh, if we can, there we go. And I don't know whether to do like an orange or something like that. Or maybe even just like a black grey kind of colour, I guess. Uh, maybe that would be cool. In fact, yeah, let's just use this. So that's going to go there. It's uh, slightly darker than the, the one that we're normally using. But that's okay. Uh, we're going to do it here as well. And we're going to do it for all of these two. In fact, change all the white to, uh, to black. There we go. I think that's fine. Uh, and then we just need to figure out how to make it work. So... Uh, delete these guys uh, right here. There we go. These three. Go ahead and get ourselves a rudder. And we should be able to smack that in to here, I guess. So let's go ahead and put this on. Um, I think if we do it this way. I think that's the right way around. I could be wrong. There we go. Very good. We're then going to go ahead and paint them this color and this color. There we go. And that's fine. That's actually fantastic. Good. We're then going to have a motor in the middle. Um... And that's just how we're going to be able to make it move. All right, here we go. Uh, propeller? Yes. Uh, one of these guys. That's fantastic. Go ahead and put it in there so it's hidden a little bit. So it doesn't chop us up whenever we fall off. Uh, and then we should be able to do this, this, and this. And add a motor to that. And we'll be good to go. In fact, a gearbox. Straight onto there. A motor. Straight onto that. There we go. And then I think we can actually add some batteries as well. Probably to... Um, one there, and one in the middle. Hey, there we go. Good. All right, so W and S is going to control this. A and D is going to control this. And that is legitimately pretty much all we need. Three to one, go. All right, those batteries are a bit heavy, it turns out. <laughs> those batteries are, uh, are a little bit too heavy for this vehicle. But there you go. All right, spawn it in again. Let's see what happens. All right, yeah, the front just dips down quite a bit. That's kind of annoying, actually. It's very annoying. And the reason being is because of all this at the front. It's not very buoyant. Um, which is very annoying. Very, very annoying, actually. Anyway, go ahead and put in, like, three of these. One, two, oh, four, I guess. There we go. Fantastic. Spawn it in. Let's see what happens. Ah, I guess it's all right. Okay, in order to make this little a little bit better, we're going to go ahead and get some control surfaces, which are these guys. And I'm going to actually lower it down to here. We're going to go ahead and put one there. In fact, two right there. And then two right here at the back end as well. And we're going to go ahead and do this. And this. Hey, there we go. And this. And this. There we go. And now it should be even more sturdy, I would imagine. In fact, actually, let's paint all this too. Woo! There we go. All of that as well. Fantastic. Spot it in. Let's see what happens. Good. I think that's good. All right, let's jump on board real quick. Get it moving. Yeah, I mean, I guess this is good enough, I suppose. Maybe. It works. <laughs> it does work. Sure, why not? All right, so now we come up with the actual issue that we're going to have here. We need to put this into our, um, our ship. We need to put it into our ship. Are we going to be able to do that? I don't know. Go ahead and cut it. Oh, I didn't quite grab everything. Uh, clear. Okay, move it upwards. 
There we go. There. Right, cut it. Nice. Go ahead and do this. Go to the warship. Let's see if we can actually fit this in. Uh, in the place where we want it. Or at least need it, I guess. Okay, so I want it to go on its side. Oh, this is big. This is way bigger than I was expecting it to be. Yeah, we can't really have those. <laughs> we can't have that. No way. No way. But we might be able to have it somewhere else. Um, no, it's so big. They're, they're so big. That's ridiculous. My, my ship is actually like quite small, I guess. The big ship. Um, but yeah, that rib is... It's not even a rib. This boat is too big. This boat is too big. So I just wasted all of our time. Sorry about that. Uh, but if you have an idea on how to actually make a boat for this, go ahead and do it. Uh, you have a room of... Da -da 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 -da. 31 by... Da -da 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 -da. 12. 13. 41 by 13. There you go. If you want to do that. 31 by... Four. What am I saying? What am I saying? How big is this? Here we go. So it is... 31 by... 12. 31 by 12. There you go. Alright, so we've added the doors to the side. We've changed the bridge. What do you guys think of that to begin with? Uh, and then we'll we'll figure some other stuff out in the future. Been a little while since I've actually built anything, so um, I'm slowly getting myself back into this, but um, yeah. Anyway, for now, I'm going to end this video here. Obviously, I've just built something that was completely useless, but that's okay. In the next one, I might actually add some engines to this and get it moving, uh, and then we'll see what happens from there. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you next time. Goodbye.